This is Makeup Mermaid 22 with another video, and this video is going to be a haul from Mermania. So I'm so happy I got to go to Mermania this year. Um, it was NC Mermania 2017, and if you haven't heard of it, it is the mermaid convention festival type thing in North Carolina, where we all get together and we swim in this giant, like, 17-foot pool, deep foot pool, and then very long and very wide, um, and we hang out at the Sheraton Hotel, and there's a ball, there's a craft swap. Um, this year they had some special guests, um, such as Philo Barnhart, who is one of the artists on Little Mermaid, and I'll get into that. But it was just an amazing experience meeting everyone in real life and getting to talk to everybody. So I was so excited to be able to go and swim, and I hope you guys saw my other video too, some of the footage swimming, but I was in the water as long as possible, and also at the hotel pools and stuff. So I'll get into some of the stuff I got while I was there. So first off, I got the Mermania print. And this was done by Philo Barnhart, special for Mermania. Um, and I have number 27 of 50. And he signed it right down there. So it was amazing getting to meet with him and talk with him. Um, I also got this one which I had him signed to Mermaid Serial, and he also signed down here, which I love this print. I can't wait to put them up. And then my third and final print, they did a buy two, get one free. Oh, that you can kind of see in there, and that one I said um, to Sarah. And I'm so excited for all these prints to put up, and that third one was my favorite, I think. Um, and the Mermania, some of the money went back to Mermania. That's why the Mermania one was a little bit more expensive. And I also got this sleeve, which kept everything safe from the water, because everything could get wet and splashed there. Okay, so getting into some of the goodies I got from the Craft Swap and Mixer. So I made around 15 pearl earrings, um, hairpins with shells on gold hairpins, and other shells, um, other shell hair clips with pearls and um, blue glitter and things like that. Um, so I traded all those away pretty quickly. I think I should next year make some more, but I'll get into some things I got to trade for. I got this folder, which had information on the schedules for the weekend, as well as a lot of business cards and things like that. Um, and I just stored some things in there as well. So I got this mermaid drawing of me and my magic tail. Um, and this is from Mermaid Safira. So thank you for that. That was I in the um, Facebook page um, so she could see your mermaid tails so she could draw them beforehand. Then this one I got done at the place. She was so cute. She was just drawing me. I wasn't even like paying attention. I started to walk away and she's like, wait, it's just so cute. That was my outfit I had on that night. Um, for the mixer. This is Mermaid Alicet, and this is some of her underwater photography, and I think this is beautiful. Can't wait to put this up on my wall. Next up, I'll go to some other cute little things. So I got this one, and this is from Mermaid Olivia, and she has her beautiful um, card here, and I got to meet her and take some pictures of her. She's in the video. You can recognize her tail, and I love this little piece of coral, fake coral that's on it. But she made these adorable little jellyfish keychains, hand crocheted. I think those are so cute. And Swishy Chick also made some little hand crocheted pieces. And this one is a little like oyster saying hello. And I love that. That's so cute. It opens and closes. I'm just scared I'm going to lose this. I might sew them in. Um, but it's so cute. <laughs> um, and some of them I don't remember who I got them from. I didn't get a business card and stuff. So let me know if these are any of your creations. This beautiful hairpin. I love this, it's so beautiful and well made. I love the blues and turquoise in this flower. I got this little hand crocheted little hair clip that's like a starfish, which is a more sustainable option for starfish than um, a real starfish, which I think is nice. I got this, which is sand from France, and I thought that was really cute. Which one of the mermaids I, uh, came from France, I guess. So that was really beautiful. Um, and I got this, which apparently was made from a antique and um, cast and poured with resin. So I'm excited to have this and it's waterproof, which is always good for mermaid. I got this cute little bath bomb, which I can't wait to use because mermaids love taking baths and hanging out in their tails. It's 
got a little net around it. I think these are handmade bath bombs too. I got this little little like keychain or I might put this on like a doorknob or something or the cute little little mermaid thing. I love this this um hand wire wrapped jewelry piece. And it's got this beautiful shell polish and it's so beautiful. I love that. So I'm gonna put this on a chain and probably wear it. It kind of also reminds me of like a shark's tooth a little bit. And when I get bored, I just like stare into it because it's beautiful. All the pigments and glitters she uses and these are beautiful. If I could, I would so get a tail from her because she hand places each scale and she she mixes all these beautiful colors so they're like duochromes and they're beautiful and shiny and just amazing. But I have this necklace and I love wearing it every day from her. You know, it was great talking with her as well and seeing her tail up in real life. It's just got all these beautiful different glitter pigments in it. I got this mermaid fishbowl uh, masker cleaner type thing, which was cute. It's like the um, poopery type stuff. Got this little magic wand from Mermaid Kelly, and that's so cute. It's a starfish. I know she makes these a lot for the parties that she does. Um, but it's just a starfish and it's so cute. It's wrapped in ribbon and then there's all these little ribbons like Magical Mermaid Princess. So I'm sure I'll use these for some sort of prop or video or something like that. But it's so cute. <laughs> I got this and this was one given to me by one of my roommates. Um, so I was staying with three other mers. I was staying with um, Dana. I was staying with uh, Noreen the Arctic Mermaid and I was staying with and I was staying with Jessica the Swiss Mermaid. She came all the way from Switzerland and she was sick and she brought us chocolates and it was uh, I was so sad that she was sick the whole time. Yeah people were not feeling the best in Romania. Everybody was all tired out and stuff like that but everyone kind of powered through it. I got this beautiful crown. Um, this accidentally broke off but I'm sure I can glue it back on. It's so cute and I might change the um the pink, I'm not much of a pink girl, to like blue or something like that. I got this hand done bracelet with an octopus on it. So this would be really cool and I bet this will be, you can probably wear this in the water too. I got this, which I forgot to wear. There are these like really cool light up hair pieces. My, it's a little bit long for hair, but it's to stick on your dress or something like that um, for the ball. Because the ball was a fathoms below like deep sea, deep trench ball with like bioluminescence and stuff like that um, so I made a light up dress for that but I forgot to wear this but it's so cute I'm sure I'll find some other fun cosplay use for it I got this little Barbie mermaid she's so pretty I love the blue I might paint her tail um, and kind of highlight some of those scales and designs on there I got this hairpin which I love um, and this was from um, mermaid Kirsten and we talked online before too, but I love this. It looks like a little bow. I think that is so cute and adorable. It's just like a little bow, but it's shells. <laughs> Ooh, we also got like a Fin Funk sticker, which I think I'm gonna stick on my water bottle. I was sad, I really wanted to get a pair of leggings while I was there, but I sold out because I waited to do it. I also really wanted to get Mermaid Reina's books and I wanted to get them signed, but I ran out of time that weekend to get them too and I wanted to get the Rescue Sirens book too, but I also ran out of time. Um, so I'm kind of sad about that, but maybe if I get to go again next year and near in the future I can get some of those things. I also purchased a few little things too. Um, some people brought some of their stock, stuff like that. So I got these beautiful little earrings with mermaids sitting on pearls. I thought that was so cute. Um, from one of my roommates. Yeah, so I got this from Noreen the Arctic Mermaid. And it's this beautiful shell. And inside the shell um, is another beautiful like enamel shell. And a pearl. And there's a pearl here too. Um, and some crystals. And it kind of jingles a little bit. But I just love the design of having that on the inside and drilled into it. I also got this hair clip from her. And I messaged her beforehand about this from her Etsy shop. Noreen the Arctic Mermaid was the mermaid who made my weight belt. Which I was so glad to have for Mermania. It made pictures easy. It made just like hanging out at the bottom really easy and nice. It made treading water a little bit more work. Other than that, it was really nice. And I used it the whole time in the GAC. Um, yeah, so I got this beautiful hair clip and it has these um, gems going and a sand dollar which is her signature, Noreen the Arctic Mermaid signature. 
thing and then it's got a little starfish and it's got some gems on these um, little fronds, little plants and stuff. So I also got this necklace from Pearly May. I got this um, I think on Sunday or, or Saturday night, yeah. Um, and I've been wearing it like every day. That was everything. Oh, except I got some of these little hair pieces. My hair faded so much. I just finished green dyeing it. Oh, and there goes that one. Um, but yeah, I got some of these little hair pieces that tie into your hair. Um, and I've been wearing them for a week, but there, there goes that one. So <laughs> I think I still have like one or two left. But they're these beautiful shiny hair pieces and they lasted. I swam in them the whole time. I got them on Friday night. I swam in them the whole time and you know I've washed my hair and everything and even dyed my hair and they've lasted so there were these. There was a woman doing them so I got a few done at um, the mixer. But I met a merman on in the airport on the way over which was great. On the airport um, I got pulled over because my weight belt looked this sort of suspicious but I explained it was a costume and stuff and there's that's why it was like shells and also the weights inside um but yeah we went through the boston logan airport and i met prince eric who's another merman from around here and his girlfriend um so that was really great and then our second flight um was delayed but we got there like just in time so i had like no time to eat or do anything like no one ate the whole i felt like the whole weekend we were all swimming the whole time um and then i got to go to the mixer and craft swap and i got a bit of a headache uh, migraine but it was I was just like trying to push that aside and then I went swimming in the hotel pool that night and I felt a little bit better after that then the next morning was the diversity panel which um, went a little over so I missed my mermaid um, underwater photography workshop that was done by mermaid highly and then I but I did get, did get to swim the whole time and be in a bunch of pictures and just hang out um, and take a bunch of pictures and talk with everyone, which was what I was there for. And then that night, there was the um, Fathoms Below Ball, which I had this beautiful dress, this beautiful like princess ball gown with two petticoats and a wig and everything and all these jewels and gems. And I put like flash tattoos on myself too while I was there swimming and stuff like that. I had some other pearls and jewelry. Um, I brought my magic tail, was the tail I brought was my um, rainbow magic tail and my fin fun mono fin and my um, one piece halter neck, my blue one piece halter neck, which kind of blends in with the magic tail. And I had my weight belt and I had my hand fins and I had my, um, my music. I love to listen to um, different mermaid music and things like that. I loaded up on my underwater MP3 and I had my underwater camera and my sequin belt and stuff like that. So I had a lot of little accessories and I let some people try them out. But yeah, so that was, that was great. Um, but the ball, so the ball was a lot of fun. I sang just around the river bend from Pocahontas. Um, so let me know if any of you were there and heard it. But that was a lot of fun. There was like karaoke and stuff. And there was a magician act. And then there was um, uh, Think Fire Pixie who did these amazing light shows with different props and things like that. And she was the one in the tail, in the light up tail, which she d designed and did all this app work for. It was amazing. Um, and then the next, then there was a swim at the hotel that night. The pool there got so crowded and it was very overchlorinated. But anyway, it was, it was a lot of fun. And then the next day we went back to the GAC and we swam. I swam as long as possible. Then I had to like rush back because I had an hour to like, and we had to check out, you know, earlier that day. So I had an hour to, yeah, I had a mad change and like throw everything in my bags and like run to the airport. But I got there in time. And I met um, another mermaid couple, which was really nice. Um, and we had a long layover. Um, well, we had a long delay and stuff like that. It was like thunder and lightning and stuff like that. So I was kind of freaking out a bit. But it was nice being able to talk with them and stuff. So that's about everything. Thanks for watching. This is Makeup Mermaid 22. Comment, rate, subscribe, and leave any requests down below.